Hey there beautiful makeup lovers, thanks for stepping by today and a very warm welcome to this video where we're gonna speak about a couple of palettes um, that I already had in my collection. So the idea of this video for me is that I wanted to show you the palettes that I decided like two, three weeks ago that are gonna be the palettes that are coming out of my already existing collection that I want to use a little bit more and a little bit more intense um, during this summer. So a couple of them have been using already, a couple of them not yet so much. There are gonna be some old, like older palettes in the sense they are already released since some time. There are gonna be some newer ones from this year, not necessarily from right now, but from a little bit back already. And you know, all those kind of palettes. And basically why I did this was because I was tempted by a lot of palettes that have been released this year because it's really the year of color I guess and so they are naturally a lot up my alley and I try to just look at what I already have and try to pick things that I think would keep me from buying some of those releases you know like I don't know if it's gonna work always but that's what at least what I'm gonna try and yeah I think that's what I wanted to say about it um, I'm going to show you the palette by palette and I'm only going to tell you why I put it in there and you know all these things. So let's get started. <laughs> that actually started the whole thing because I saw it sitting in my drawer the other day like a couple of weeks ago and felt like you should use this palette a little bit more and this is the Nomad Cosmetic Untilts palette this is how it looks like and this is how it looks from the inside you see full on summer palette I'm definitely someone who is a lot influenced by the season on which makeup I'm going to buy or which makeup I'm going to use and um, that's what I wanted to say and I feel this one screams summer, I mean it has little palm trees imprinted in the pan so is it a summer palette or what? And I really really love this palette um, when I used it last year but last year I got it a little bit late like I got it in the end of September and so it was not really summer anymore so I did use it a couple of times when I got it but not really intensely so I wanted to make sure that this summer I really get the use out of the palette that it deserves it is a bit of a difficult palette because it doesn't really have a lot of deep shades except of this purple here that allow you to deepen up your crease while I really like what's going on outside why I really like to do that, you know, deepen up my crease. So I definitely usually draw in something else when I'm using this palette, but it's definitely one that keeps me from buying a lot of those colorful palettes that have been released. It's not really um, a rainbow palette, so, um, you know, it's, it has a different vibe, but still it keeps me from a lot of buying those kind of rainbow palettes that exist. And it's just really beautiful. I really, really like this palette and I like the Nomad Cosmetics formula. And therefore I'm really happy I put that into the pile of palettes that I want to focus on this summer. Something fell down. And yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm happy it's there. It's beautiful. It makes, you know, it has flamingos on top. It makes you feel good, you know, when you put out a flamingo in the morning. Okay, next two palettes, I'm going to speak about them together because they're from the same brand and these are the palettes uh, from Certify that I want to focus on this summer and this is their last year release, the Tropical Wonders palette and their this year release, the Affinity 2 palette. Let's speak about Tropical Wonders first. So Tropical Wonders is an all matte rainbow palette and looks like this. And I remember when I got this last year, I was like so in love with it. I was like, oh my God, so many colors, such a beautiful rainbow color. It, it's really a really great rainbow palette because it ha I mean, it has only mattes. That's maybe the thing. That's the only thing that's maybe be like, mm, that could throw people off. But besides it, it has from every color something. It has a black, it has a white, you know, so you can go into a more pastel or more muted um, direction with all the colors. I really love this palette and I, I don't know, I haven't picked it up in a hot minute and I really wanted to make sure to give 
its attention during the time of the year where it definitely belongs according to me and yeah this one definitely also kept me from buying some of the new rainbow palettes that have been released I hope this one is gonna keep me from buying the new Jawbreaker palette that Jeffree Star allows because that one looks really beautiful and I hope this one is gonna keep me from it maybe <laughs> could you do that for me please and yeah in general I'm really in love with this one and I think it will keep me from buying a lot of colorful releases that have been announced this year and you know it's just great so definitely should get the use it deserves like all the palettes that I'm going to show you they deserve a lot of use and the other palette from Certify that I want to focus on this summer is their Affinity 2 palette which is their green and blue palette and this one I want to keep close you know at all times to me first of all because I like greens and blues a lot and this one has some really really beautiful options I haven't used it a ton yet like I have used it I think maybe two times where I used only this palette and a couple of times I used a couple of shades that I would use together with singles or something like this at the moment there are so many blue green palettes released like green palettes blue palettes whatever and for instance the Oceanic palette from Ace Boutte, I would have been so interested in that one and I'm so happy I had this one because I was like oh, first you know should use this one and then maybe pick up the one from Ace Boutte but then I also realized I don't even like their formula like I have one of their Paradise palettes like the grungy themed one and I, the, the shimmers are terrible in my opinion I have like hard pen on all of them and the mattes are okay I guess like fine but I really didn't like it and for the price point no way I'm gonna buy this oceanic palette but I almost forgot about it because it was a green and blue palette and hello <laughs> so I'm really happy I had this one keeping me from buying it it also kept me from buying the blue blood palette from Jeffree Star even though this one is definitely a different theme you know than the oceanic palette but it was just you know the blues in there and everything i feel like i have enough with these blues here like i don't know which what i would need more so i'm really happy that i have this one and i want to keep it close at all times and on all costs to remind myself don't buy all this green and blue palettes because you have already a great one that works really well so so to fair affinity too definitely one of those palettes i want to keep close this summer the next one I want to speak about is this little fella here and this is the Viseart Koi palette. It's one of their 12 pan palettes. I have spoken about this one in one of my um, palette roundup thingies and I really really like this one. I think it has like the most beautiful duochrome iridescent shimmers. It's, it's just really beautiful. I really really love it. and. I tried to use this one mainly to keep myself from buying all those iridescent multichromes, triochromes, things that have been released by all the different indie brands this year, which hasn't been that successful, I gotta be honest, but at least I didn't buy the new shades from Luxy. I also bought way less shades from the stained glass collection from Cleona Cosmetics than I would have if I wouldn't have this one because I was like okay let's first see which ones I could maybe dupe with this one and then I that kind of cancelled a lot of shades out so it did keep me from spending too much money on this iridescent duochrome top of shades blah 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 you know that all the indie brands are bringing out at the moment has that been super successful because it's just something that I really really love it's a trend that I'm all on board with and yeah so but this one definitely because I love this kind of shades like this kind of duochromes also needs to get a lot of more use because it was a present and I want to make sure to honor this present and it's a beautiful palette it's really beautiful and definitely deserves use throughout the summer and you know to use all this duochrome vibe that's going on at the moment this one is perfect for it okay so the next one that we're gonna speak about is one that also keeps me from buying this one hair here that's lingering around my arm drives me crazy 
the next one is keeping me from buying also a lot of this green blue palettes you know and this is the Juvia's Place Tri palette this one is I mean it's like half a year old so in beauty community terms it's like a grandma already but this is a beautiful green orange palette I really really love it and to me it was a palette that has been released into a little bit in the wrong time of the year I know not everybody's into seasonal makeup so I don't want to say it's a wrong time but wrong for me you know and I really enjoy this one I think it's very, very beautiful especially these tones down here are summery as hell and I want to make sure to give it a lot of use also to remind myself Girl, we have a beautiful palette that has a lot of green in it, paired with a beautiful orange. Why do you really need something that has a lot of green now? You know, maybe that's just enough for you. And so far it has been working pretty good for me. And I love this palette. I want to give it more use and I think it's stunning. Very, very stunning. The next one is one that I actually chose because I didn't even remember when I used it the last time and it was one of my very first colorful palettes that I bought and I remember I liked it but I couldn't tell you now why I liked it and this is the pure My Little Pony the movie palette. Let me show you the inside. The inside looks like this. This is, I, I remember I like this palette like I remember when I um, used it that I recall liking it but I couldn't tell you anymore to say like oh yeah it's because this red is really pigmented and this shimmer on top of this like I, I don't know anymore so I really want to use it now and see if I still love it because if I don't I am going to pass this on because it's just like I have so many colorful palettes and I want to see if my standards on what I expect now from a colorful palette still match my expectations back then from a colorful palette, if this makes sense. And that's why I willingly put it into this kind of little project, um, because I really wanted to make sure that I still love it. And if I do, it's great, because then it means I'm going to get a lot of use out of it in summer. And if I don't, it, it's also great, because that means I can find a new home for it, for someone who is going to love it a little bit more than I do. So that one I am going to use, I don't know. Let me know if you have that one and what are you experienced. Does anybody still remember this palette? I don't know, I never hear anybody talking about it, so I wanted to make sure to kind of just give it a little bit of use and see what kind of stand it actually has with me at the moment. So the next ones are palettes that are mainly neutral palettes because I also like a good neutral look. And the first one is the Nubian 2 by Julia's Place. This for me is such a big summer palette. Like this is one that I don't really touch in the winter because it's really, really warm. And it's just the perfect palette, I feel, for a really elegant summer night. You know, like a, a wedding outside, you know, in the evening. In, in Spain, the weddings are always in the evening. I don't know how it's in your country, but there the weddings always start in the evening and go the whole night. And I love it, like, when you have this really, these really warm summer nights and you have, like, an occasion to put on a really elegant look. And I feel this one gives you a very, very elegant look without having to compromise on color. Like you still have a lot of beautiful colors in here. Like this really beaut beautiful emerald green is just stunning. I love it so much. This muted blue in here mm, with this like really, really dark. I don't know if you can even see, it's like a purple. Absolutely beautiful. I think this is such a great palette to make like a kind of muted, colorful look that is very very elegant like this is a very elegant palette at least in my book and that's why I want to make sure that I'm using it I love this one I think it's one of yeah one of the best ones like I feel like almost every Julia's Place palette is one of the best ones but I really really like this one and but it's a summer palette for me like I wouldn't use these kind of tones in an elegant occasion like more in the winter time so I want to make sure that for those occasions in this summer I'm gonna pull out this one because that's that's what this palette is made for for me and it would be a shame if I don't use it for it this summer so I love this one 
looking so forward to use it it's gonna be awesome awesome so the next two palettes are new to my collection and that's the main reason why i want to make sure to use them because they're quite some expensive bitches and that's first of all the sunrise palette from natasha denona the my video with this one should be already up so in case you're interested in this i'm gonna link it up in the corner over there you know somewhere here and this one looks like this it's absolutely beautiful i think it's a very very nice color story that is definitely more leaning towards the neutral side but i do also like to wear neutrals and i think that could be a great palette for me this summer to really dig those warm tones i'm usually not such a huge warm tone person but somehow i became it you know like when warm tones were really really on trend like with the naked heat and everything I wasn't too much into it but these days I'm really craving these and I'm happy that it's still a thing um, with palettes like this so this one is really beautiful check out my uh, thoughts on it so you can see a little bit more in-depth thoughts on this and honestly I want to make sure I get my money's worth out of it because it's a Natasha Denona palette it costs 65 US dollars so it's not as expensive as her usual 15 pan palettes because it is a bit smaller but still it's kind of a lot of money that I want to make sure I'm using and another one that I picked up together with this one from Natasha Denona is her sunset palette so sunrise sunset you know I thought I should have it <laughs> makes sense and um, this is how it looks like I haven't used it once yet because I first went for this one naturally and this one is a very neutral palette a very very warm neutral palette more this kind of like this one has more this pink you know very warm tones while this one has definitely this toasty tones you know this toasted warm tones and i feel this could be my neutral palette for the summer i do like to wear neutral looks also especially at work i do want to wear neutral looks only and i hope that this one is going to be the one for this summer especially with this yellow here which is a little bit more cool toned and i'm really intrigued in my, by that because i'm really craving for cool toned yellows somehow and this one only has warm toned yellows so I'm, I'm really looking forward to use this because i know i love the natasha Denona formula and i mean i don't expect to have troubles with this one i don't know if i will i will let you know but yeah i'm really really looking forward to use this one and to give these two expensive little things here um the use they deserve in my collection and to really make sure to have a good experience with them i don't know if i will have a good experience with them but i don't think i will have a bad experience with them so i want to really make sure to use these two expensive ladies here and i think i think if you buy a new palette that is very pricey it's just natural that you make sure to use it at least the next one or two months quite a lot just to know okay you got your money's worth out of it and that's definitely why these two are in there but i also think they're beautiful and perfect for the summer so these were all the palettes that are like in my little palettes to use this month box um that i decided to put there for the reasons that i explained so i'm really excited about it i picked like nine palettes so yeah I, I feel like nine palettes um i use it already since the end of may and i'm planning probably it will be fading out in the middle of september because that's when more or less the autumn starts to flow in and so i have like three and a half months to play with those and i think that's that's a reasonable thing to do you know nine palettes three months i do my makeup quite a bit not every day but almost every day and therefore i think that's okay still considering i'm probably gonna buy new palettes as well you know that's that's just how things go and yeah so i don't know if i'm gonna make an update video like where i'm like revisited review or something i don't know yet if i find a format to do that that would interest me my like that would be interesting to myself and therefore i would feel like doing it um, I will see. Let me know if you wanted to hear something about this palette. If you want to see some looks with one of those palettes, maybe that would be some, maybe something cool that I could do. Just, just let me know. Also, let me know if you picked out some palettes that you really want to use this summer. Like, do you do the same? Like, do you say like, okay, this palette really is for the summer, or are you like an all 
year just going for everything you want type of person I would really like to know that because I'm definitely super into seasonal makeup okay so let's wrap this video up um please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you would consider subscribing to my channel that would be awesome so we can see each other in my next video as always bye bye Please.